Hi Carpentry Daddy, welcome again to your favorite woodworking and DIY channel. When we make furniture, it is very common to use 35mm cup hinges. To install this type of hinge, we have to make a hole in the doors that allows it to be held correctly. If we have a bench drill, it is very easy to make this drilling perfectly perpendicular. We can also set the correct distance from the edges of the door to the hole. That is why it is very easy to work in our workshop placing the hinges that we need to install. We do the drilling with a 35mm diameter partner bit. Here you can see the hole I made 4mm from the edge and 13mm deep to install this cup hinge on a piece of melamine. But today I want to show you an excellent tool to make this type of drilling outside the workshop using your traditional drill. I'm going to open the packaging carefully so as not to spoil the instructions on the back and I am going to show you how to use this great jig to make hinge holes. Here we have the template that also comes with the Forstner bit. On this side, there is a roller to establish the distance from the top or bottom of our door to the hinge that we are going to install. This ruler has the measurements in inches and centimeters to find the distance from the center of the hole to the top or bottom of the door. It is also important to be able to establish the distance from the inner edge of our door to the edge of the perforation. We can select the distance in these pieces that you see here, and we can adjust them using the screwdriver to select how many millimeters we should install. I'm going to place the hinge 4 millimeters from the edge. When adjusting this measurement with your screwdriver, remember to select the same distance on both sides. When you make that adjustment, these hexagonal pieces will immobilize the template so that you can make the holes you need using the same distance. To work, we are going to place the drill bit on our template and we are going to place this stop that will limit the depth of the entry of our Forstner bit into the melamine board. The depth of this perforation is about 13 mm. To place the drilling stop, we use the kit that the template brings us and we are practically ready to work. When everything is adjusted, this template ensures that we can make the perforation perpendicular without penetrating our wear material and at the correct distances from the edges of the doors. If we turn this piece, we can disassemble the template to install the bit in our drill. You will also be able to see these two holes that are to make the holes to fasten the hinge to the door with the screws. I do not recommend using this because in different brands of hinges the position of these screws can vary. Now I'm going to make the perforation in this piece of melamine using the correct jig. I made all the adjustment with the same measurements to compare the drilling we are going to make with the one I made with the bench drill. I made the selection 4 mm from the edge and now I'm going to fasten the template using two clamps. I recommend using the large flat part of the clamp to hold the correct jig. I prefer to use two clamps to ensure that nothing will move while using my drill. 
When everything is attached, we place the drill with the bit in our jig. Before drilling, remember to verify that your drill has the drilling function select. I hold the piece of melamine firmly and proceed to drill. The correct jig will set the entry limit of the bit. At the end of the drilling, we can separate the bit and clean the sawdust remains from the template. By removing the template from the door, we can verify that we made the hole to install our hinges correctly. Now you can be a real carpentry addict clicking the join button of this video. We can see that the drilling is perfect and it was the same as the one we did with the bench drill. So we can now install our hinges. Today you learned two ways to install correctly your concealed hinges using your press drill or this amazing jig. I'm Domingo Freire and this is your favorite woodworking and DIY channel. Remember to click on like, share and comment this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye and I will see you in my next video!